Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. Jonathan Davis here with DAS. This is a pre-listing for a 2003 Jeep Wrangler TJ Rubicon with 49,000 original and documented miles. Now, the point of our pre-listings are to show you guys inventory that we just got in. This Jeep came into us last night at 10 o'clock. This morning, uh, I'm the owner of Davis Auto Sports. Took it around for about a 45 minute drive. Looked over everything myself. My guys literally knocked off the dust from it being transported here. And uh, here at Davis Auto Sports, if you guys follow us, uh, you guys know we do not sell pre-existing modified Wranglers or Cherokees or anything of that nature. We always buy them stock and modify them ourselves. We've maybe sold a handful that were pre-modified uh, previously and we look for a number of things if that is the case one being mileage condition and how new the build is all those check the box on this particular uh, TJ so back into our pre listings is to show you guys the vehicle just the way it came in we are still going to bring this through our service department our reconditioning department and go through absolutely everything by the time this is on our website, we will have a full inspection done on the Jeep, showing you guys what we're doing to it, uh, both service-wise and reconditioning-wise. But as you'll see, this Jeep is absolutely beautiful, just the way it came in. Most dealers, and we are too, would be very happy to get a Jeep like this in, but most dealers would most likely advertise it just the way it is and that would be completely fine because it's an absolutely incredible jeep the way it is very hard to find them like this um, the build on this jeep is less than seven months old we'll go through and, and give you some of the major points of the build just recently done factory rubicon gorgeous jeep uh, Rubicon Express suspension, Fox shocks, Fox steering stabilizer, new Falcon Wild Peak tires, black Rhino wheels, new brakes all the way around, Bushwhacker flares that have been finished in Raptor, or excuse me, uh, I believe they did this in, uh, in um, uh, Linex, I apologize. So everything you see in black, the front bumper, the flares, the Rubicon panel, sidestep, rear tire carrier, all done in Linex. The paint on this thing, we haven't paint corrected this. We haven't touched it. This has been a garage kept Jeep, absolutely pristine, all original paint. So we are shooting this directly in the sun. There's not a cloud in the sky. And look at this paint. It is absolutely incredible. Original Rubicon badging in great condition, upgraded hood latches there. will not find a TJ with this sort of paint, especially it being all original. It is absolutely beautiful. Half doors, sliding glass top, both sides uh, slide either way. Factory hard top in beautiful condition. Rear tire carrier that's also been finished in Line X, full size spare. These are 285-75-17s, LED third brake light, very nice, it illuminates around the whole wheel. Upgraded LED tail lights, Quadratec, also has upgraded LED headlights. Take a look at this paint in the sunlight. There's no swirl marks, um, just beautiful, beautiful paint. Usually these end caps are faded. It's pollen season here and stuff is dropping <coughs> left and right. Hood cows are usually faded on these. Pillars around the windshields. I mean, this thing is absolutely incredible. And we haven't touched this Jeep yet. We're still gonna go through, paint correct it, buff it. It's gonna look that much nicer once we're done with it. Inside is equally impressive. Beautiful uh, door panels, WeatherTech liners, carpets are very, very clean. Seats are absolutely perfect. I mean, nice thick bolsters are not flattened out. The fabric on the seat, we haven't even vacuumed it. There's still a little bit of loose debris, but this thing is incredibly clean. Nice upgraded Max uh, center console here with all your 12 volts.
upgraded uh, TBT uh, front roll cage, integrated, very nice handles. One of the problems with the TJs versus the JKs is you don't really have any good spots to uh, screw in any grab rails. You typically have these guys in, in these Jeeps, but uh, this is a full integrated system. Very, very nice, nice upgrade. Keep in mind, we haven't touched this Jeep yet. We haven't vacuumed it, wiped it down, cleaned it, steamed it. But this thing is in incredible condition. Upgraded sound system, interior, hard tops in great condition. I mean, this thing is very, very clean. Still have your jack and all that good stuff. Carbon fiber interlay. Now this is a flip out and it's actually a non-motor flip out, which is nice. And I'll tell you why, because usually the motors in these things go bad and they won't come out. So this is actually one that's designed as a manual slide in and out. That's how you're supposed to do it. There's no motors, which makes it very, very nice. Um, so nice system there. Both keys also have a key to your center console and your fuel tank as well. Slide both ways. Up front, you have LED headlights. These are some really nice Hella uh, Rally 1000s. These lenses are cracked, however, uh, they still work and those are actually really nice lights. So um, we'll include those. And if you want us to replace them uh, with something, just let us know. And that goes for the whole rest of the Jeep. If there's something you guys want us to add, uh, please let us know. We'll be more than happy to do so. Um, AC in this thing cranks. Uh, like I said, I drove it today uh, for about 45 minutes, ran a quick errand, and uh, drives out beautiful. We'll do a quick test drive on it for you guys. Uh, rattling that's just the remote and wheel lock in there one of the reasons we don't drive or excuse me drive I don't like to drive a lot of them either because the way they drive but one of the reasons we don't purchase a lot of uh, pre-existing lifted Jeeps is uh, usually the lift is done a long time ago. It's been sort of ragged out. It was owned by someone that, um, you know, enjoyed the lift, we'll say. And uh, this thing was absolutely done right. Great components. Uh, a lot of additional upgrades besides the suspension itself. So just make sure to go to our website, davisautosports.com uh, to look at the full spec sheet, uh, service history, uh, brakes were recently done. Uh, there's a compressor on board, which is good for inflating, deflating, and everything that you're gonna need to do tire-wise or um, helping somebody else out or, or anything else for that matter. So. Jeep tracks completely straight, drives down the road as it should. So for our pre-listings, uh, what we'll do is you, nine times out of 10, uh, the pre-listing will be up while the Jeep is in the shop getting worked on and it's not gonna enter our shop today. We have other vehicles, it is in queue. Uh, so it could be four or five weeks uh, before this is done. We will have it on our website as to what date it actually will be done. Um, but during that time, they sell. However, if it doesn't sell, we will do a full listing with a lot more pictures and uh, an extended video. However, our pre-listings are usually very, very thorough and people that have been following us know the quality of Jeep that we sell. Um, we did two pre-listings last week uh, on our website and both of those Jeeps sold. Um, and those are in our shop currently uh, getting uh, serviced and reconditioned. 
So that will end this video. If you guys have any questions, 855-XJ-Jeeps. That's 855-955-3377. Thank you.